Hey my squidlings, Katie here. Welcome back to another challenge video. So today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing the one line challenge. Why, you may ask, am I subjecting to myself to this crazy torture? For fun, I guess. <laughs> uh, I asked my patrons over on Patreon what they'd like to see next, um, and they voted on this one, so... Thank you for that! <laughs> anyway, uh, if you'd like to be a patron and um, vote on certain things like what I do next and get rewards like line art and print sent to you every month, there will be a link right up there to where you can go click it and check it out and any and all support I would super appreciate. So anyway, now let's get into the video. So I'm going to be doing two pieces on each side of this paper. I have it folded in half. So on one side I'm going to do like a little test piece just because I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, and then on the other side I'm going to do my actual piece. So uh, yeah, let's just get started and practice a little bit. Before we get started into the final illustrations of the video, so the challenge part, uh, I want to let you all know that from now until July 31st, I'm going to be having a 30% off everything in my store sale. It's my birthday month, so I thought that I would treat you guys to a sale in my store. And if you want to check that out, I will have a link on the screen to where you can go do so. Now on to the doodling portion. So I decided to do a test, and I just decided to draw a squid. Um, it's very foreign to me to not lift up my pin and like readjust it in my hand and, you know, obviously just not picking it up and moving it to another place uh, to draw it. You know, you just leave your pin on the paper. It's very foreign. It's very different. Um, and you learn very quickly that your hand starts to cramp <laughs> uh, because, you know, whenever you lift up your hand to readjust the pen or whatever, you kind of take a mini break. Well, I didn't take a break and so I was very sad about that. So for the final piece, I thought I would draw like a mini self-portrait. Um, I was just going to draw a random girl and I was like, eh, let's just make it a self-portrait. It's not a great self-portrait, but it works, I guess. Um, so <laughs> you may notice a lot of these lines are very scratchy. I was going to use like a Sharpie or something. But, I don't know, I the first test piece I did, um, I, I used Sharpie, and I got very fumigated very quickly. So, um, yeah, I decided to just stay with a ballpoint pen. So, this is kind of like a ballpoint pen challenge. Uh, the nice thing is, with the eyes, you know, you have to connect them. I wear glasses, so I could, like, cover up the lines that I made to connect one eye to the other with glasses. So, that was a nice little cheat. It wasn't even really a cheat, but it felt like one, I guess. Um, I found another thing that was really hard is when you don't lift your pen up, it's really hard to get, like, shading. Because you know how, like, with some ballpoint pens you can get shading? Well, it's not so easy whenever you're, you know, doing one line. And uh, it, for me, anyway, I'm very heavy-handed, especially as I draw. Like, I start out really light, and then I end up, like, shoving my pen into the paper. And <laughs> so... <laughs> I end up, you know, going really dark, and so that's kind of what happened here, because I kept going, and I, I was getting harder and harder with the pen, so probably not great for my pen. But anyway, uh, I think one of the most difficult parts about this was um, trying to create these little curls in my hair. I wanted to lift my pen up so bad. Uh, but anyway, uh, I made it. I made it through. Um, another thing that's really difficult is turning your paper. Again, you want to lift up your pen and turn it and then do it. And I was like, oh shoot, I can't do that. So <laughs> you might see me pause here and there um, to just kind of like figure out where I'm going with this and uh, how I'm going to turn the paper and stuff. So Anyway, all in all, this is a really fun challenge, but I would not recommend you do it for long periods of time because your hand will cramp and that is not good for your hand. Uh, I did many hand stretches after this just because uh, I love my hands and <laughs> I want to keep them in working order for as long as possible. So anyway, um, again, it was fun. It was a huge challenge for me. This is definitely not my greatest piece in the whole world. And I might do it again eventually, maybe on like a bigger piece of paper or something. I think that would be really fun. But for now, this is what I've got. Let me know any future challenges you would like to see in the comments down below. Thank you so incredibly much for watching. Here are my final two pieces. Uh, anyway, uh, if you aren't already and you want to be a part of our adorable squid pod, there will be a subscribe button down below. I also have social media links down in the description below so follow me there if you'd like and until next time my adorable squid links to the